just a very quick review on this Motorola MBP482 digital video baby monitor. We'll just have a uh, quick go over the specs. It's wireless technology, uses 2.4 gigahertz wireless, so obviously this is not in tune with your Wi-Fi uh, and you can't access the camera on your phone. It is a completely independent system which in a way you know is better because if everything kind of fails like the battery goes down on your phone or your wi-fi goes down then your baby monitor is still going to work it has a 2.4 inch diagonal color screen fairly low res we'll have a look at that in a minute claims to be up to 300 meters range and that's that's quite an ambitious range but it does appear to work around the house and we'll give that a test also in a second has infrared night vision there is a, an array of infrared leds under this uh, sort of cover here and the night vision does work quite well um, highly sensitive microphone built into the camera yeah i'll vouch for that we'll test that a little bit later on and uh, the monitor itself has a room temperature display in the box you get two small little plug-in power bricks now the uh, the monitor itself does have a built-in rechargeable battery which uh, is, is a good idea. I think it's uh, it's better than sort of nothing. But as you can see, it's one of these kind of unique sort of cells. It isn't uh, batteries that you can replace yourself. And what I found, although the battery, it certainly does work, with the screen left on the monitor all the time, the battery time isn't particularly great. We're talking possibly 25 to 30 minutes maximum before the battery gives out. If you turn the monitor screen off and just use the array of LEDs, like on a traditional baby monitor, then uh, it appears to go on for quite a while, actually. We've had two hours out of it with, uh, with no problem. The camera itself, that has no battery. That does require you to plug in the power adapter. But with the battery, it is a portable system. You know, if, for example, you were taking uh, the baby somewhere, like you were having a barbecue or something, you wanted to put your baby down for a little nap, then it is possible you can carry this around with you for a short period of time using the screen, or even longer, just using the LED array, and just leave the camera plugged in somewhere and keep an eye on the baby and make sure he or she is safe. So one of the advantages of not having this connected up to your Wi-Fi or phone is that uh, you switch it on, and it finds the camera pretty much uh, instantly straight away you can see we've got a uh, we've got a picture there on the screen now as i say the picture quality it's not bad um it's certainly not high resolution i don't know the pixel count but i would say it's probably something like 200 by 150 something like that i mean it's it's you know it's sort of good enough but um, don't expect anything approaching sort of a high def uh, sort of picture. But it does work well and it even works well in just normal low light. Now if I move this up here you can, might just be able to make out on the screen. It does give you the uh, temperature display which is quite useful to check the temperature of baby's room. Um, not particularly clear though. Um, I don't know how that's coming out on camera. It's saying it's 22 degrees currently in the kitchen here. But yeah, they could have sort of made that, I think, a little bit a uh, little bit clearer. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if, for example, at night time, you don't particularly want the uh, screen on all the time, just a quick press of the button there, and then it turns into a more traditional baby monitor where you've got the array of LEDs. And the microphone is quite sensitive, and of course, if you hear a noise in the night, you just want to check on the baby, well, just give that a push. And then... Uh, a push to set it off. It does have a zoom function which is I suppose it's quite handy. You push that and it does allow you to sort of move around the uh, sort of picture. Obviously it's a digital zoom it's uh, not a real-time zoom but if you know if, if your baby is kind of rolling around in the cot or whatever and you just want to uh, keep an eye on it then uh, yeah I suppose that's uh, sort of sort of quite handy. So yeah, overall, that side of it sort of works pretty well. Okay, what I'm going to do is we're going to test out the range of the camera and also we'll test out the more, very important uh, night vision feature, which is of course what you want. So I think we'll do the night vision first. So I'm going to take the camera now and put it into a completely dark room and uh, then we can sort of see how it gets on. Okay, so this is a shot now in uh, total darkness the camera is actually in my loo if you excuse me but these little three little ornaments here and uh, yeah you know overall the performance 
in the dark is uh, is pretty good. The little ring of LEDs they to probably illuminate pro probably four to five feet, maybe about a meter and a half out from the uh, out for the camera. And uh, overall, the uh, the quality is quite good. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm now going to uh, go go into the loo and, and I'm going to uh, just speak on the uh, camera, and you can hear the sound that comes through on the unit. I'll just turn up the volume. Okay, so this is a sound test and you should see the little LEDs on the sound graph bar going up and down with the sound of my voice. I'm just talking at a normal level. And yeah, okay, the speaker in the back of the unit, it is quite small and it is pretty much tinny. It is what it is. But uh, I think the sound is acceptable. You know, if you were monitoring your baby and uh, it did wake up and start murmuring I think it would be enough for you to hear in the night and uh, hopefully it would uh, it would wake you up and the microphone on the camera is certainly very sensitive if I turn my voice if I'm whispering now very very quietly you should still be able to hear my voice on the monitor so yeah overall I think the sound quality yeah, is perfectly acceptable so I think the final test is just to work out the, the range of the unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera in the furthest room from the monitor, which is up in the attic. And I'll just put it up there against my, some of my radio equipment. Because, of course, you know, you don't have to use this for a baby monitor. Uh, we, in fact, use this to monitor our little 12-week-old uh, puppy when he's in his cage. And you can use it for anything, just keep an eye on the kids or just monitoring well anything where you're not in the room really so we're going to do that so I'm going to put the camera up into the attic and then we'll see how it uh, gets on going through the two floors down into the kitchen so this is now up into the attic so this is coming through two floors which is about the furthest I can put it in the house and yeah the picture is absolutely fine it's uh, perfectly clear it's not particularly bright up there and if I just try the uh, volume Yeah, that's the radio on up there. And uh, yeah, absolutely fine. So 300 metres, well, I don't know about 300 metres. But uh, yeah, it certainly works, I think, in a, you know, a moderately large house through, uh, through two floors. So I can't really complain about that. So to sum up this review, this Motorola digital video baby monitor, I think it does what it says on the tin. Now you can get cheaper versions of this. There are sort of like clone versions on eBay and I did look at those because they are quite good value but there is quite a high foul rate on those. So I think by going by a sort of recognised make you, you do get something that's quite reliable. Now we've had this working for three months now and so it's quite a, a comprehensive test and it's been uh, absolutely fine. You know, It hasn't missed, missed a beat. Um, I've been running this for about 20 minutes now doing the video and you can, well you might not make out but the, the battery level is now dropped to half so you probably are looking at about 30-35 minutes on the battery. Um, resolution on the screen, it could be a little bit better to be honest, I think they could have made it slightly uh, higher res. It, it's not too bad, it does what it does, what it does. And, and I think with the infrared at night setting it is perfectly good enough. Um, you do get the temperature on the screen there once again that they could have made that perhaps slightly uh, slightly sort of uh, slightly bigger but so uh, yeah we bought this in the UK it was available in Argos it was slightly reduced um, which is why we got this particular model you generally pick up Motorola monitors uh, on eBay some of the um, monitors are sort of different land landscape and portrait but they generally do this do the same thing so I think overall it gets the thread in the shed uh, thumbs up. It's useful for other things. Other, other than monitoring your baby, you can monitor anything uh, anything you like. Now, there's one final feature on the uh, on the camera, which I don't know if it's a feature or not. It's, it's maybe slightly annoying, but if for any reason there's a power cut or the power cord becomes disconnected from the camera because the camera hasn't got a built-in battery, of course, then the picture freezes and then rather an annoying bleep happens which uh, if this is in the middle of the night this is going to wake you up and alert you that you've got a power cut I don't know if that's important or not but uh, yeah it's quite uh, quite loud and there you go and that just goes on and on and on um, until you switch the unit off 
and it does get bloody annoying pretty good. Okay, well I hope this uh, review is helpful to you if you're looking to get a, uh, a baby monitor for whatever reason. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, and uh, share on social media, etc. But as for now, I'd like to say cheers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one.